if you are funding your account with ten dollar um fifteen dollar five dollar twenty dollar account so i congratulate you for seeing this video before you go ahead you understand because this strategy is going to help you flip the money into bigger account trust me so i have done this before i have tested this several times with ten dollar accounts and it works before i come up with a video you understand i believe it's something you don't want to miss out the only thing you can do now is to watch this video to the end so that you won't miss any information because any information you mean you miss you are going to use your money to pay for it so i don't want that to happen to you so just stick to the end of the video as well my name is akin lakin i am the lead instructor from king fx academy so we don't need much for this strategy you understand we only need three indicators and we are going to add that together to our charts now then we follow the procedure according to this strategy you understand so now the first thing to add is the relative strength index which is rsi which is an indicator that tells us when the market is overbought and when the market is oversold so let's find the rsi indicator this is it so um take the screenshot like this or you take note of the parameters the period is one apply to close type 3 percent level is 90 10. you understand so um time frame is all time frame though we are only using one minute time frame but just leave it as all time frame you understand so now click on done if you add that correctly you should have something like this you understand so now we are going back to um where we add the indicator to add the remaining two indicators to our chart you understand so just click on this indicators um logo come to indicator window one not main chart indicator window one click on the f plus then click on moving average the first moving average to add is the slow moving average which is going to be period 15 shift zero method exponential applied to close style to pixel let's use two pixel you understand so time frame is up then click on done so if you add that correctly you should see something like this on your chart so remain one um, indicator to add that's also moving average but you are going to change the period to five now then change the color change the color i'm using green you can use any color of your choice change this to five then click on done so that's all you know something don't assume never assume anything if you don't list in you are going to miss out never assume anything if i don't explain to you you are not going to get it so never assume so let me explain in detail the one good thing about this strategy is that you can also use it to, um use it to cash spike you understand so you can use it to cash spike and you can trade against spike with this strategy first of all let me explain how you can trade this um with um how you can use it to cash spike you understand you know i've already explained that the rsi the below 10 indicates oversold while above 90 indicates overbought which we are expected to buy at 10 level and we are expected to sell at 90 level so how do you use this to spike to cash spike so when the market is selling you understand the market has been selling has been selling has been selling you understand so and then you should be able to move your chart like this you understand so the market has been selling and you see that these two moving average both the 5 and the 15 they are getting close to 10 level once you know that they are getting close then pick up your buy if it is boom if it is crash pick up yourself once at this level you can pick up your buy immediately you touch the 10 it's buy instantly you understand you know the reason why this one is because 
you have two information that is saying the same thing. Those are the confluence you need. The five period moving average is telling you the same thing. Why fifteen period moving average is telling you the same thing? You understand? We have two witnesses before we place the trade. So that is a valid information for us. So once you know that they are getting close to the 10 level, place the buy. But if your account is below 20, you may just trade against the spike. You understand? You understand? Or it's below 10. If you still have a $20 account, it's still good to cash spike. Or if you are good about your risk management, like if you place the buy and you know your the trade go against you for like minus one dollar or two dollar, you should close. Sorry for that. You should close. You understand? So let me explain um how to trade against the spike. The same thing. The same thing. Sorry. The same thing. Once price come to 90 level and the first EMA, which is the green, crosses the black, crosses the blue, which is the slow EMA, once the cross happen above 90 level or at the 90 level, that you are good to say. Just count your five candle, five candle, guys, five candle. You know your account is small, so you don't want to stay long. You don't want to spike to carry your profit. Sorry. I'm going to cut this video short, but I've already explained everything you need to know. You understand? So just go to your chart back test, play the trade on the demo before you proceed and deposit the ten or five dollar into the ref account. You understand? So test this strategy very well. It's good. It's very good to raise more accounts. So I just come up with this video based on the popular demand that all the videos I'm dropping is for people that have much money in their accounts trading in 15 minutes, 30 minutes time frame that I should drop the one minute. That's why I come up with this. So I've tested already. It's been longer I've been using it. So just follow the instruction. I wish happy trading and always trade responsible. It works on boom and crash. It works on boom and crash it's because I don't have much time. I've tested the crash for you, but it's opposite. It's crash too. You know, you trade against the trend when you're buying on crash. That means the cross has to be the 10 level. Why? Let me quickly check that before I, I leave. Crash, 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 crash. You can see. So, you just place your buy once you, you see the cross here. As the market, I think we see the signal to sell now. Yes, you can enter for sell now. Understand spike is going to happen in no time, so you can just enter for sell. So once the trade go against you for a while and the spike doesn't happen, close risk management is very very important. You understand? Risk management is very very important. So but spike will surely happen because the conf confluences are smooth here. You understand? So I'm going to close the trade. So I need to attend to one or two. So I may come back to show you if the spike happened. So guys, I wish happy trading. I always trade responsible. So guys, I just come back to check now. You can see that the spike has already happened. I don't know why it doesn't show. <laughs> you know, it happens sometimes like that. So you see how long the spike is. So we enter the trace from here. So and the spike happened. So I just come back to check it now. You can see. So the strategy works. Try to demonstrate it.